Hello everyone, I'm Salad and welcome to Boneworks. The, I uh, have not played many VR games before. I just got my Valve Index and I've only flown around in Google Earth and moved around a little bit in VR chat to try to get my my sea legs for VR ready. So I may get sick playing this game. I know it's inspired a lot by Half-Life and I've played just a little bit of it to make sure that everything works. And I can already see the Half-Life influence just from the little bit that I saw through that door over there. But this is a completely blind playthrough other than that. Now let's uh, let's get things started while, I, while I'm talking here. I'm supposed to grab this, right? Yeah, as you can see, I'm not very adept with this just yet. I'm supposed to incinerate this, so I'll give that a toss. I'm still getting used to tossing things in VR. I played a little bit of Super Hot, and you have to t you have to do a lot of tossing in that as well. So I've got a little bit of practice, as you can see. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, I don't quite have this down. I'll get it at some point. There we go. Uh, disposal. That was a bad shot. Come on, come to me. Come. Oh, I see. I have to hold down the trigger. Got it. Oh, well, that was that was a miss. Right, I think I'm getting it. Uh, what? This doesn't this doesn't say. Okay. Recommend investigate. Oh yes, that's right. I'm supposed to put this battery in here. Let me just move a little bit. Whoa. Yeah, that's disorienting. I'll get used to it at some point. There we go. There we go. That'll open the door. I've got a decent sized VR space, but I do I do end up hitting the sides there if I reach out too far. And there are some there are some VR legs. I wish I had some of those. But maybe by the end of this <laughs> maybe by the end of this I will have them. And I already saw what was in here when I was just running around to make sure everything worked. Oh boy, the, the door is eating me. No, don't. Don't. It's making me sick. There's some VR legs in here, which is very nice. But uh, they're actually VR arms mostly, it seems. And that's not too helpful. And this conspicuous orange closet. It's got a nice crowbar in it. I like how everything is very interactable in this. And of course, we've got the Half-Life crowbar. We're gonna try to keep this, or I think I'm gonna try to keep this as long as I can throughout this game. I don't know how feasible that's going to be. Probably not very. Oh, well, we've got some, some weird physics going on here. Some sort of shockwave coming through this door. What does this say? If I disconnect the servers, I could probably buy a couple hours. Okay. The voidway could allow for immortality if the monogon heads Nuvin Rossi. What? A lot of random ramblings here on the wall. I'm not sure if it means anything. The resurrection field? Resurrect in the void. Okay. A lot of jargon there that I am not aware <laughs> aware of what it means just yet. Oh my gosh, I gotta get away from that. Oh! Did I kill it? I didn't want to kill it. I probably shouldn't have hit it with my crowbar if I didn't want to kill it. What? Exit the simulation immediately? Can I grab it? Oh yeah, I can. It has little eyeballs on it. But I think it's dead now. 
that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, oh, there's another one. Don't worry, little guy. I'm just gonna grab you. There we go. Whoa, it's vibrating. Is it meant to do that? I think it's trying to escape. Well, let's, let's take it with us anyways. I'm not sure what these things are. They're kind of cute. It's just really freaking out right now. Oh, we've got... Got some steam. I imagine that's not something I want to go directly into. And supply crate, that's very Half-Life like. Does it break? Oh, it does break. Um, I'm gonna have to drop you. Whoa! Well, off it goes. It's alright. Let's grab this is some ammo, it looks like. Oh, okay. Well, that disappeared into my inventory somewhere. Is there a way to access that? Inventory. Oh, okay. Let's leave that in there. Interesting. It says zero zero. I'm not sure what it means by that. Oh, okay, 40 pistol ammo. I think I'm getting this. I don't know what this button does. What? What's that sound? Okay, I don't know what that does. That's all right. Let's just uh, let's just turn this valve here. Okay, it seemed to work. Just scooch under there. What is this? What does this do? Also, that's very shiny over there, but what is this? Oh, that opens that. Oh, that closed over there. I should, probably should have taken a closer look I was, well, as to what was even in there. Oh, is this? This probably isn't going to allow me... Oh, I'm... I'm I'm crouching. This probably isn't going to allow me to get through here with this, is it? I scooch back once again. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, that's a disintegration field. I figured as much. Well, okay, it didn't disintegrate us, so we're good. It's very uh, portal inspired there. Alright, what do we got in here now? What does this say? Memory dump? Is this open? Oh, I can I can grab it. It's pretty heavy though. This uh, this fence is apparently not very heavy. Oh boy, I'm already feeling a bit seasick moving sideways like that. But it's alright, we can keep going. All right, well, that was a long loading screen. We've got another orange locker. I should probably check the other ones as well. This one, however, does not have our crowbar. That's unfortunate. Are these all empty? This one, is there anything under there? No, there's not, okay, that's not good. I think we might be out of luck in terms of supplies. Not that we need anything yet, we haven't, Found any monsters or anything? All right, let's see what's in here. It's very yellow. Hello and welcome to the Museum of Technical Demonstration. Okay. Interesting. The Museum of Technical Demonstration. Let's. Oh, I can't. I can't go in. Let me in. No? Okay. Fine. The museum halls are not open. Oh, the TV looks at me and I don't have a reflection. I must be a vampire. Can I... Okay, I can't grab the TV. But I should be able to... Learn some lore? Oh, those are my controllers. Yeah, movement, I got that. Menu, I understand. Grab, I can do it. Yeah, we got that. Jump, okay, so that's, that's what this button's trying to do. 
Oh no, that's that what that one's trying to do. Okay. Oh, now it's talking about different controller types. Okay, we don't care about those. We're using the index. What's this? Oh, we got a map. Am I gonna be guided through the history? Okay. So this starting area is all just a, a lore dump. Okay, and I'm there at the first floor. I need to go up and then bounce <laughs> to the next place? I don't get it. Uh, I guess we'll see when we get there. Let's just make our way through here. Museum staff would like to remind you, we are working around the clock for Myth OS City opening day. Let's take a closer look at this city. Oh no, I can't really see. I can, I can hop to try to see what's there, but it doesn't really seem to be a very detailed model. Turn, yeah, I got it. Okay. Everything you need to know about control. So this looks like So that's talking about teleport controls, but there is no teleport controls in this game, is there? What's this going to say? Is it going to make some kind of joke about it? At the dawn of our virtual world, many early inhabitants found themselves limited by the primitive concepts of short-range warp locomotion. Yep. It's going to make a joke about it. <laughs> Talking about how outdated teleporting is. Yeah, smooth locomotion may be dated, but it sure does help you not get uh, feeling queasy. I'm all right for now, though. What's all this? Provides a wide array of immersive virtual equipment for any simulated lifestyle. The excellent range of options spans from the work-oriented teleglass blue to the extreme gamer-targeted Profit XT7. Hmm. What's all this? What is uh? What is this? What does this company do? Mongon. Don't know. Okay, so it's trying to tell me that those guys don't have uh, don't have sentience, and I believe we're going to be killing a lot of those guys in this game. From what I've seen of uh, other gameplay footage, I haven't seen much of this game, but I know at least that much. Who are these guys? They look like me. Traditional virtual space versus versus Myth OS virtual simulation. Okay. Interesting, because you go through... Oh, I see is what it's trying to say. In, uh, in most VR games, you would go through stuff with your hands when you, when you touch it. But here, everything's physical. physical. Interactive environments and a full body presence are the cornerstone for living and working. Yeah, so I can't, I can't actually push my fist through this object. I get it. stored upward force resulting in temporary vertical displacement to build up stored jump okay energy. I don't need to I don't need to watch that I I get how to jump it's all right oh I was trying to duck under that but it didn't quite work did it no it's not gonna respawn okay fine I know, I hear what you're saying. If I'm feeling sick, then I should stop. It's alright, I'm not actually feeling very sick right now. I'm good. But I will certainly not be uh, doing this for long. This won't be a long episode. I might only get through this whole tutorial section. Might, might even get through all of it before having to stop. But that's okay, we're eventually going to finish this game. 
crouch. I understand how to crouch. You don't have to tell me. Climbing gym. Okay, now this looks like something that'll probably end up making me sick. Gonna have to jump over this and climb up that with, uh... With physics-based movement. Okay, well, I'm just gonna not look down. Yeah, that worked, sort of. And this looks like it's a way to get up by just grabbing. So, let me see if I can do that. Oh, yep, that works. I can hold it with one arm. That's pretty, uh, pretty strong. Nice, let go there. And then here are the, uh, jungle gym bars. Okay, so I can move myself like that. That's not too bad. It's just a little bit wiggly. Oh, let's turn ourselves around. There we go. Okay, that'll do. And are we out of here now? What's this? Okay, more confetti. Oh, okay. Just walk through all of it. Doesn't seem to hurt me. Now, this is a loading screen, right? Oh, no, it's a wall. Oh. Can this, can this move? Ryan, there we go, just sprint through it. That makes sense. Got interactions for grabbing things. And then I guess this these are handles? The things that are highlighted, maybe? Or there's different grab points. It's just telling me that I could grab uh, by the handle, or I could just grab the whole thing. I get it. You can throw stuff, but uh, don't break anything in your room. I understand that too. Cool. You can force grab stuff. Well, you already taught me that earlier. You don't need to... I don't think you need to tell me it again. We got the whole starting of this game. Go to that boxing. Okay, that's self-explanatory. Some nice force grab action happening over there. Okay, and it's what it's telling me there is probably the uh, orientation of my body is going to matter when you're trying to push a really heavy object. So like, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, just, uh, just move aside. All right, let's try moving something heavy then. Can we move this? Does this move? No? Can't tell. Sure, stuff in there does move, but we're gonna ignore it for now. Instead, we'll head over to this button, which looks like probably the end. Or does this take us to the next area? No. What does this do? Oh, do I need a? Oh, do I need to rush through there or put something on top of it? I probably need to grab this. Yep. Just plop it on there. Very simple. Now we can head through. Attention, our primal staff. Due to an unfortunate recent incident, we request that all employees obfuscate the basement of Lock Lock. All employees obfus obfuscate face unlock something or other? I think I might have cut off the transmission there. Archival room, employees only. Is this a hidden door? Yeah, it is. It looks, uh, it had a bit of a different coloring. Let me think, let me in. You can't, you can't fool me. I see that. Well, I mean, it's not trying to fool me, but I can tell it's... Come on, let me in. It's just barely not opening. If I crouch, will I get in? If I jump? No? Maybe if I run and punch it. Okay, no, it's not opening. Oh, and now I'm getting sick, so now I gotta stop. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, that was gonna be a short episode. I don't think we even... We might only be halfway through all this tutorial area, but that's alright. 
that's enough for today. And hopefully by going through this game, I will uh, eventually get my VR legs. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Hello, everyone. It's Salad. Welcome back. I decided to just continue from the last video. I don't think I'm going to make this a separate one. Just because I don't like making videos that are shorter than 30 minutes. Also, I just had to run through this whole area again. Um, which was... Which was a problem. So I'm going to try to make sure that I get through this entire tutorial this time around so I don't have to redo it next time. But I'm still really curious about this door, archival room. I really want to get it open, but I feel like it's not going to be possible and I'll just make myself sick <laughs> trying to get it open. It doesn't look like it wants to budge. Yeah, I don't know. It's opening partially on one side, but I don't think I'm going to get it any more open than that. So we're just going to continue on for today. So let's just see how this goes. All right, lots of breakable stuff. We can play around with that, why not? That seems to work. Whoa. This, uh, <laughs> this sledgehammer doesn't want to follow where I want it to go. My arms feel like they're made out of pool noodles. I guess that's to give a sense of weight. There we go. Look at all those particles that are disappearing into the ground. Can I break a hammer with a sledgehammer? Oh. Okay, maybe not. I am just missing it though. Okay. Please, feel free to take your time with physics and violence. Okay, so we've got a puzzle here. Demonstrate to me. Okay, you push things. I got it. Okay. Alright, I don't need this thing to tell me how to do the puzzle. Already, uh, it already spoiled me on a few things, so I'm gonna need to move this in order to get across this gap, maybe? And then I need this in order to turn on something? What does this do? Oh, okay. Neat. And this is supposed to come this way, apparently. I don't know how that helps me, though. I will move it though. There we go. I'm gonna assume that did something. Now what's that over there? An emergency elevator? As if this, if I, uh... Okay, let's just pull on this then. What did that do? Nothing yet? I'm gonna let go with this hand and try to pull it. not go any further? Oh, I'm just pulling myself now. No, I didn't mean to climb it, but... Yeah, what did that do? Can't tell. Push it back in, maybe. Well, whatever. We're gonna ignore that for now. Just head on up. Whoa, that was quite a jump. Let's see where we're going from here. Can't really tell. Can I climb up that? I don't think so. Oh, am I supposed to make it to that? Looks like a moving platform, but I'm not sure. Can I make this jump, maybe? Oh, I could probably go along that little edge there. But where is it that I'm actually trying to go? Hmm. Okay, so I, I'm guessing I can't just jump onto that platform. I'm gonna have to go across here, so... Is this... 
Oh, okay, I can grab. Nice. Well, it's a little wiggly, but it's working. Oh, I'm gonna hit myself in the head. We go faster? This could take a little while. I wonder if I could get myself on top of it. No, not quite. Oh, am I gonna have to throw myself off of this? Uh, I don't know if the jump key works while doing this. I'm just gonna try pushing myself once we get to that point. Alright, we're here. Now, I really don't want to have to do this again, so I'm going to hope that I make it all the way over there, and then I'm going to turn around and try to grab the ledge if, just in case I don't push hard enough. All right, here we go. Oh! Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> it didn't quite work as well as I planned. Can I grab a ledge here to practice? No, I can't. Now, what did this even do? Do I need to pull it further, maybe? No clue. Alright, well, I guess we're going back up again. Alright, can I really not just jump and grab this? Come on. I feel like it can... Get almost get that, darn it. Alright, fine. I'm guessing I can't jump over there either, can I? Oh, maybe. I'm not gonna try it. We're just gonna take the long, slow way again. Although, does this move? Oh, it does! Oh, okay. Well, that's much easier than the way I was trying to do it. There we go. I didn't have to <laughs> Spider-Man along the wall at all. Now we can just walk across. Interesting, how would my height change my... change how I jump? Right, here we go. Uh, oh wait. Am I, uh, okay good, I'm not crouching. Here we go. Sprint. Jump. Perfect. No issues at all. Now, it says we might have to jump here, but I'm not so sure about that. Oh! Okay. Let's pull this. What does that do? Oh, it holds it in place? Okay, so now there's maybe a bridge up there. Hopefully. Let me just entangle myself. Well, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it made a convenient ramp here. I didn't even realize that. Great. Okay, I don't have to do that whole thing over again. Alright, where does this take us? Up? Oh. What's another switch? I wonder what that does. Is that, that probably just takes us, uh, us all the way back up here in case we fall? Maybe? The Museum of Technical Demonstration is brought to you by Ultramarine. Only drink Ultramarine. We recommend taking a short break and then return when you feel comfortable. I'm not. I don't want to take. The thing is, I don't want to take a short break uh, because then I'll have to redo this whole thing. They wanted me to feel like taking a short break. This should have. Oops. Allowed me to auto save or something. All right, that worked. Oh. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so this is talking about my inventory system. It seems I can hold stuff on my back, probably. And that menu is... It's this menu. So I've got weapons, I've got something, and another something, and ammo. No, I don't want to do that. There you go. Alright, we're not going to read all of this history here. But we are going to take a quick look. All of it is just nonsense at the moment, though. So we got to break through there. Okay, we can't take stuff from place to place through loading screens. And this is a bunch of ammo. Is it going to give me a weapon as well? So I got a lot of ammo. Is there something over here? Oh, I can purchase things with ammo? this? Is this a, uh, an extra life or something? What is this? So if I were to take one of these and put it in there, what is this? Um, I guess we'll put it there. I don't know what I need that for, but that's great. Alright, let's run and jump through here. Great. Am I supposed to duck under this? I don't know. I can assume that I am. A lot of recoil there, okay. Let's try some of this out. Finally we get weapons. Thank goodness. Pick up though. There we go. Oh, I don't want to have my inventory out. Can I not do that? There we go. Oh, well, he needs ammo, of course. All right, let's try this out. Oh, okay. I need to pull that back. Nice. And then let's go for the distant target. All right, that seems to work out pretty nice. Oh, and now we're out of ammo again. Let me put that in. Oh wait, I didn't ever, <laughs> I never pushed that forward again. Does that matter? I don't know too much about guns, so uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. All right, well, let's continue on. Check out some of these other weapons. I'm not going to store any of them because I assume after we leave the tutorial, we're going to... Whoop, after we leave the tutorial, we're probably going to lose all of this. Anyways. Alright. It's not telling me to do anything else. Okay. That's what I need to do. Pull that back. Nope, nope. Keep that in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I want to... There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Stabilize it. Oh man, it's glitching out. Let me just hold it with one hand then. Alright, neat. Got some SMGs as well. Oh. Oh boy, that is a lot of recoil. Can't even see where that's shooting. So far, the regular pistol seems to be the easiest to shoot. Here we go. Alright, I have to pull that back. Got it. Great 
works out pretty well as well. Alright, let's take this along with us. Oh, what are these? Is this a, uh... I guess we'll try this out for completion sake. This looks similar to the other one we just tried, though. Okay, we can spin stuff. Cool. We'll keep this one now. Okay, this is for testing physics against actual enemies. Interesting. Oh, it advanced physics as opposed to regular physics. They're gonna do the quantum physics over here. Void energy, huh? Is that what this is supposed to be? Or, oh, maybe, maybe not. Well, the exhibit has been deemed, it sa deemed safe, it says, so that's good to know. I trust the company. Raffle day? Uh, can I open this? Oh, I can. There's a key in the raffle box, I guess. Nice. Do I need to turn the key or is it just open? Okay, it just opens. Perfect. I don't know what's over there. Time control. What does this do first? Oh, I can roll something. Wow. It's trying to grab me. I'll hide back over here. I don't know what the meaning is to this little presentation. It's a gift shop too. Oh, we can go buy something. So there's a gravity room and there's the time control. Let's go to time control first. Oh, okay, I can go to the gift shop if I go all the way around. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break though first. All right, continuing on. Time control time. We've got simulation time and real time for main 20. My virtual body's bounded by the simulation. Okay, so I assume that that means that it's not slowing everybody else's time down. It's slowing all time down. Okay, so this... Uh, I don't know what that did. Is this slowing down? Yeah, okay, so it's slowing down my arm, it seems like. And then does this drop something? Yeah, it does. Okay. What does remaining mean? The remaining amount of time that I can continue slowing down time? Oh yeah, that's slowing me down a lot. Oh, okay. Interesting shadow there. I'm not sure why that's there. Okay, let's check out the other room. Actually, before we do that, Oh yeah, we're gonna check out the other room. We'll go to the gift shop afterwards. Here we go, gravity room. Now this is probably gonna cause some sickness, but let's see. Oh, or maybe the gift shop was the way to go. Oh no, it looks like a dead end. Anti-gravity, okay. Got balloons. This is a balloon gun. Okay, it is. Does that have infinite ammo? Seems like it does. Can I shoot it at myself? Yeah. 
Okay, I don't think I can fly though. Apparently not. So I'll just carry some balloons with me. Although maybe I can get up there. Alright, let me center myself. Oh, 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 get on. Oh, some of the balloons are popping for some reason. Well, let's get off. Is that gonna... Yeah, okay. I'm glad I got off. Looks like that would have killed me. Do you find all the buttons in the museum? Is that telling me to go through all the tutorial buttons? Because I don't want to do that. Now this... What's going on here? Am I just meant to jump down onto that and maybe float up or something? No gravity, it says, so that might be the case. So that's jump, I got it. All right, let's do that. Whoa. Okay, that works. Ow, uh, can I drop? Maybe if I duck? No? Uh, jump? Are these balloons messing me up? Is there a way to pop them? Oh. That works. I don't know if that's the easiest way to do it. Alright. There we go. Let me in. I think putting all those balloons on myself was a, was a mistake. This should get rid of them though, right? Oh, what? No, the balloons are staying. But they're, they've turned metallic. It's kind of bizarre. Alright, is that intended? That these balloons stick around with me? No clue. Oh, but now I'm in the gift shop. Okay. What are these? Posters? Can I unravel it? I don't think so. We got basketballs. I don't see a hoop. Wonder if I can see past there. No, it doesn't look like anything's going on out there except for a skybox. Now leaving the museum. Anything in here? I'm not sure I want to fall down there. So let's not. Okay, that returns to the exhibits. We don't want to do that though. So let's head on out. Are these balloons still going to follow with us? Oh. Uh, is it going to let me through? No? What else do I need to do? Can I leave, please? No. Okay, do I need to buy something from the store first? Here you go. That's, that doesn't seem to be it. <laughs> How do I escape from this place? Okay, maybe I just need to throw something in the trash first. Throw actual trash in the trash. Does that work? No? Maybe I need to go down there. Uh... Okay, I'm guessing I need to go down there, so let me center myself here. Off we go. Oh! Yep, I guess that was the right idea. Unless I'm dead. That's possible. Oh, and now we're here at the bottom. I don't have any my balloons anymore. Darn. 
Those seem to be one of the few things I could go through disintegration fields, but I guess they can't go through loading screens, can they? Alright, here we go. Ah, alright. We are no longer in the tutorial. There's those little round guys. They're running away. A lot of dead people. See a force field over there, two force fields. Yeah, this looks pretty neat. We're gonna have to explore this, but we're gonna have to explore this next time because now that I'm finally out of the tutorial, that's a great place to stop. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.